Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome back to my channel. Today on the Robin's Nest, I am going to be decorating another graduation cake. I know I already did one a little while ago, but it is that time of year and we do have the little kids to think about too. So we're going to make an elementary school graduation cake. It should be really cute, so let's get into it. So for today's cake, I'm decorating a three layer vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream frosting. So I baked up three six inch layers here, as you can see. So we're going to start out by getting these leveled, stacked and filled. So I'm going to be using my cake leveler and you can use a knife if that's what you have, but I'm not very good with one. So I'm going to stick with my leveler. We're just going to snip the top off of these and we're going to save our extra cake because we're going to use it in just a few minutes. And now I'm going to trim the brown stuff off the bottom of our layers and we're going to discard that. Now before you fill your layers, I feel it's important to mention a step that a lot of people forget to do who are just starting out. And that's attaching your cake to your cake board. So we're going to take a little bit of icing and we're just going to spread a thin layer on our board. And then we're going to use our first cake layer and give it a firm press down. Like so. Now you can fill your layers. Now at this point you can just continue on if you like, but I like to go one step further and trim off all this caramelization so that way when the cake is cut into, all you see is beautiful white slice and no brown stuff. So I'm going to take my serrated knife and I'm going to trim all this off and then I'm going to start my crumb coat. All right, I finished my crumb coat and now it's time to chill. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And when I come back, I'll show you what I have planned for my cake scraps. All right, so for this next part, I'm gonna to try to shape the bottom of our grad cap. Now you could probably use a cupcake if you wanted to, but I'm gonna use my cake scraps and a little bit of scrap icing today. We're gonna to mash all this up, fill up this little metal bowl that I have lined with some saran wrap, as you can see, and then we're gonna pop it into the fridge. Once I'm done with that, we're gonna make some decorations. So the first decoration we have to make actually is the top of our grad cap because we need to let it dry really really well. So I've added some Tylo powder to my fondant and we're going to roll this out in sort of a square shape and we're going to cut out a nice perfect square and let that dry for a while. And then you're going to want to place this on a piece of parchment paper so that way it doesn't stick to whatever surface you lay it on. There, that part was pretty easy. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is how I make my little pencil crayons. So you're gonna take your first color of choice, and we're just gonna roll out a little sausage shape. And we're gonna keep thinning it out until you've reached your desired thickness. Now you're gonna take your X-Acto knife and you're gonna snip it at the length that you want it. And we're gonna flatten one end that it's gonna stand on and then the other end, I'm going to twist it to a tip. It should look like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is roll out a little bit of light brown fondant. And I'm going to make this really, really thin. As thin as I can get it without it tearing, basically. Alright, so I've rolled it extremely thin. And now I'm just going to snip a little line here. Move that piece. And then I'm gonna cut a piece that's about a half of a centimeter in thickness. And then I'm gonna cut that piece into smaller portions until they're about this big. 
and then I'm gonna wrap that around the tip of my pencil crayon using my fingers to mold it. And voila, our little pencil crayon. Isn't that cute? And so easy to make. So you're gonna make a whole bunch more of these in all the colors of your choosing. And I made about 42 to cover a six inch cake. And if I have any left over, I'll let you guys know how many. Here's my colors. So our next decoration is a really easy one. We're gonna be making the diploma. So we're gonna take a little bit of white fondant and we're gonna knead it till it's soft. And then we're gonna roll it out really thin like a piece of paper. All right, so now instead of cutting it in a perfect rectangle, I'm actually going to taper it, make it thick on one side and thin on the other side. So when we roll it up, you'll see the texture of the paper on the ends. There, just like that, almost like a little croissant. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of green fondant and we're gonna roll it out and make a little green ribbon to tie it with. So we finished with most of our fondant decorations and that means we're almost done. All we have left to do is finish icing our cake so we can start our assembly. So I'm gonna add a nice coat of buttercream to our main layer of cake. And then I'm gonna take our little tiny layer of cake and we're gonna do a nice little crumb coat and add a little layer of fondant. All right, so I'm gonna pop this one in the freezer for just a few minutes to firm up our icing a little bit, so that way we can actually grab it to put it on top of our cake. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna grab our cake and we're gonna put all our pencil crayons around the outside. There, all of our pencil crayons are in place and I think it looks so good. I actually did come up a little bit short. I needed to make about four more. So I would say on a six inch cake, if you made about 50 of them, you should be safe. All right, so we're gonna go grab our other little cake and we're gonna finish assembling. Well guys, here it is, my adorable elementary school graduation cake, and I love it. I think it turned out so pretty. I love the rainbow colors. They're my favorite. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and let me know what you think about the cake in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.